I'm Nico Tamarian from CNY Central Sports, joined, of course, by our weekend sports anchor, Tom Eschen. Tom, thank you. No problem, Nico. And if you're watching this, it's obviously because you know the news that we here at CNY Central, continuing our trend, are the home for the ACC Network going forward. And, of course, it's even more exciting now for local sports fans because Syracuse enters the Atlantic Coast Conference in less than two weeks on July 1st. So... Very exciting time for us getting to bring these games to you, but also very exciting times for SU fans. Let's talk about the ACC going yeah. forward. Of course, every Saturday we'll have an ACC football game for you. When we get to the winter, we'll have basketball games for you on the ACC That's network. Cool. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Tom, what are you most looking forward to this coming academic year in the ACC with Syracuse joining it? You know, Nico, it's, everyone talks about the new rivalries and some of the old rivalries, which is justified, and you're leaving some of the older ones back in the Big East. But you get to make some new rivalries with these new teams, football-wise. Clemson coming into the right. Dome, that'll definitely be something cool. But even the old ones from the Big East, you look at Pittsburgh and Boston College used to be in the Big East, and they obviously went to the ACC too. So they'll still have some something to think about as they get toward the end of the season there. And it'll be fun to talk about their history even more than some of these other ACC teams that don't have as much of a history with Syracuse, but obviously they'll make some in the next few years here. Absolutely, Tom. I think you hit a great point there. Pittsburgh, Syracuse, they played six 68 times in football. That's second in SU's history to only Penn State by a couple games. So you've got you show. exactly you've got old rivals there like Pittsburgh, somebody like Boston College we became familiar with. Don't forget Miami and Virginia Tech. We won't see them on an annual basis. In fact, you won't see the Hokies in the Carrier Dome until 2016. You won't see Miami in the Carrier Dome until 2024. So we get, that's how the crossover rivalries work. We'll explain that going forward. But certainly, uh, like Tom mentioned, you got Clemson in the Carrier Dome October 5th. SU coming off a bye week for that one. You know Scott Schaefer's going to have something cooked up for that all-American offense of Taj Boyd and Sammy Watkins. Um, let's talk basketball as well. You, you've got – listen, the record was broken with Syracuse Georgetown this past February, and this is in yeah. no way, shape, or form a disrespect to any of the past Big East rivalries, but um, – I think we might go over 35,000 for that Duke game in the Carrier Dome. <laughs> you can imagine that. I mean, there's Duke fans are almost like Yankee fans right. or Dallas Cowboys fans. They're like almost America's team, and either everyone loves them or everybody hates mm -hmm. them. And you get that with a team like that, people are going to come out and watch Coach K be coaching Team USA. It'd be interesting to see Coach K and Coach Beheim are going to be coaching for Team USA in 2016, coaching against each other right in front of our very eyes in the Carrier Dome. Yeah, absolutely. It, this is the thing about the ACC that's so great. You see how excited we are. <laughs> You as fans, you get to live through this uh, for the foreseeable future. SU, part of a premier conference, the ACC, going forward, there's just so many great rivalries that will live on, so many new ones to create. Yeah. I've got a hunch, Tom. I think NC State in football is going to be a new rivalry of Syracuse. What do you think about they, that? You what, know what? Do you think there's a dark horse in there? I think I think NC State would be a good choice because mm -hmm. in, in football, you know, you see Syracuse. They're not the top in the country. Yeah, and yeah. They're kind of making their way. Though. They're solid, just kind of like NC State. I, you can see those teams having some scrappy good games because they're probably very equal um, in just play and athleticism on the field. So I think that'll be fun to watch. But the X factor, which we haven't talked about, is the SU quarterback situation. Absolutely. <laughs> well, it's funny we're talking about NC State and the quarterback. Syracuse beat out NC State not yeah. only for freshman quarterback Mitch Kimball. He's going to be a true freshman this fall. But, of course, the guy that everybody's talking about, Drew Allen, SU beat out NC State for that guy. Yeah. And it's so funny, you know, on CNYCentral.com, we kind of analyze – the season going forward for SU football. But it's so hard to do because we haven't seen Drew Allen throw. We've, we've gotten secondhand accounts from people who cover the Oklahoma Sooner, some people in their athletic department. Certainly passes a look test at 6'5", yeah. 230. You know but he backed up for years in Landry it, Jones. In Landry Jones, yeah, you know so that? You learn from the best. You know, exactly. That's the thing. But, you know, with just fall practices, is that enough time to, you know, unseat some of the guys like Terrell Hunt, Charlie Loeb, and John Kinder? That remains and to be seen. We saw Terrell Hunt in that mm -hmm. spring game. He looked he, good. He looked, he looked really good. He looked like a leader out there on the field. And he obviously would be fun to watch. But the, And I guess that will elevate each guy's play, you know, seeing that competition once they get out there in the summer heat. Um, it'll be fun to see how they make each other better, really, and make the best guy win, really. And th that can only be good for Syracuse. No question. So let's put it to you this way, Orange fans. You can't wait for SC's entrance to the ACC. Yeah. You've been talking about it since September of 2011 when it was announced. Well, guess what? The networks here at CNY Central, well, now you're home for ACC games. Football, basketball, you name it. I'm excited. How about you, Tom? It'll be a fun ride. <laughs> no question. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll certainly be updating you throughout the summer. And, of course, we'll join you in the fall with that first ACC 
game of the week, by the way, August 31st. Awesome. So for Tom Eschen, I'm Nico Tamuri, and this is a special CNYCentral.com Web Extra.